Today we are going to be talking about how to present Voyant in a client meeting. I really like to start off on the dashboard view, but I find that the cash flow might be a little bit distracting for my initial conversation. So I'm going to navigate over to the silhouette, click on there and then click preferences. And on the show dashboard chart, I'm going to click no. This is a good opportunity to also point out that if you have inline help turned on, which is a great resource, you may go ahead and turn that off just so that those hyperlinks aren't active while you're presenting. We're going to start off here just reviewing the data in the plan with the client and we can do this one of two ways. We can either click this down arrow button and that will open up everything in the plan or I really like to go piece by piece because I find that to be a little bit overwhelming. We can review with the client whether or not their income has changed. On the savings and investments tab, you can go over to the show overview section. This will give you the total value. You can make any changes that you need to here. For example, if you've opened this up and they say, oh, actually we were able to put in another $5,000 this year, you can open that up, make that adjustment here, click done and navigate back in real time. You can also do that in the retirement section. You go to the show overview. This is a great little example here of the total account value. You can make any changes you need to by just simply clicking on the retirement plan and click back here. Once you've had a chance to update everything here, then you can navigate over to your timeline. The timeline is a great place to have the more in-depth conversations about what are their life goals? What are we really planning for? What are they hoping to be able to do in their life? And how can you help them make those things happen? So as you can see here, we've already had some initial conversations. Their family would like to take a trip to Europe. They would like to pay for their child's university expenses. Raul was thinking about buying a boat and we have some different stages We they are currently in the pre-retirement stage then we have an early retirement stage where they're going to be a little bit more active maybe traveling a bit more and a later retirement stage where maybe they're going to reduce their travel budget stick closer to home spend more time with the grandchildren you can talk to them about whether or not we need to add in some new goals here or new events because we haven't talked a whole lot yet about what they would like to achieve in retirement. You can review the different goals that you have for them in the plan. It looks like they're currently on track to be able to do that family trip to Europe. Looks like they're currently on track to be able to pay for their child's university expenses. And they're just a little bit shy of this goal of gifting Santiago some money for the down payment on his first home. And maybe you can use this as an opportunity to talk about increasing their ability to put some money in savings every year. You can add anything from here, the plus button. You can move different icons up and down the timeline. You can open them to adjust them. Maybe Raul doesn't want to buy a boat anymore. Perhaps he thinks it's not worth the money. You can use open this item here. You can delete it. You can edit it change the name of the owner. You can even change the timing. You can also deselect different people on the timeline. Maybe you want to start off the conversation by talking about Santiago. Or do they have any other additional goals that they would like to create for him? Then bring in the parents. And once you've had a chance to get caught up on all the different goals and events that we need to add to this, we can move over to the Let's See screen. I'm going to start off on the single chart section. This is the cash flow. This is really the lifeblood of the plan. Here we can see all of the inflows, all of the money coming into the plan. That black line represents the total need for the plan. And we can see any shortfall in any of the years, whether they be in pre-retirement or later in retirement. This can be as detailed as you would like. You can hide all of this. Start here with the, all the shortfall and build up the plan. You can talk about how you're helping them meet all of their expenses through this great planning that you're offering them. Bring in the social security, the retirement savings, and you can navigate to different versions of this chart. So we move to the right. We can see the assets. You can again hide all. Maybe you want to talk first about the properties just bringing those in. Maybe next you want to talk about their 401ks and retirement accounts. Bring those in here and you can continue to go through these different charts. There's also a tax chart where you can discuss the different 
expected taxes throughout the year. If you go to year view in this chart, you can scroll all the way to the end of the plan and go to the tax section and you can see what the cumulative tax total is expected to be for this plan. You can also look at any year of the plan, any income or property taxes expected. So once you've had a chance to go through all of that, you may, depending on your client, want to have a quick overview of their legacy screen. Maybe they're very concerned about whether or not they're going to be able to leave any money to their child. It's here that you can discuss, you know, if they do indeed pass at their expected mortality events. This is what they're expecting to pass to their spouse and then to the child. What would happen if one of us dies today? Would there be enough money? Then the next thing you might want to go through is the insights. This is really where the wow factor comes in. This is where you're going to be able to make some of the biggest impact. So in the plans where you have some shortfall, maybe you want to talk to them about their retirement spending. You can run this retirement spending insight and you say, okay, we've got some shortfall in the last couple of years of the plan. How can we adjust the spending expectations in retirement so that you don't run out of money? You can discuss this amount, maybe make some adjustments, step down those expenses in the later years. You can also discuss, you know, what investment returns would we need to get rid of this red? Maybe we need to invest a little bit more aggressively. Is that a reasonable solution? Maybe a little bit high, but maybe a combination of the two would be your recommendation. I really recommend getting very familiar with these insights. They can do a lot to help you in conversations with your plan. You know, how, how much of a major loss could this plan go through in order to sustain itself. What about a Monte Carlo? Let's stress test this plan. Goal priority analysis allows you to turn on and off different goals, seeing how that would affect the life of the plan. You can simulate a market crash. Perhaps they haven't purchased life insurance yet. You can run a life needs assessment and determine how much life insurance they need. And another really helpful thing is if you go to the silhouette here, turn your preferences on and inline help again. You can go back to the insights and you'll see these different highlighted hyperlinks. Click on there and you will get more information about what each insight does. It'll take you to a article all about how that insight works super helpful. So if you've got any what if scenarios in the plan that you would like to present, you would have done them here, but they are accessible from this section here and you can go to compare plans. So for example, if the client would like to consider retiring early, there's a bit of an age difference between these two. You can simulate how that would affect their plan. So with Angelica retiring 10 years early so that she can retire with her husband Raul, they are going to have a lot more red in the plan. So you can demonstrate that and then maybe demonstrate a recommendation on how they could achieve that with some spending decreases and some investment changes on the let's see, compare chart view. Another place that you can demonstrate the difference between these two plans is on the legacy screen again. You can do a comparison view between the recommendation plan and the base plan just so that they also are able to see how that might affect the total estate transfer at the end of the plan. And just to review, so we can start off on the dashboard. We're going to review all of the data in the plan, making sure that there's no changes that need to be addressed. We're going to navigate over to the time line, talk about the different goals and life events that we have here in the plan, add and edit where necessary. We're going to review their current cash flow analysis. We can be as detailed or not detailed as we want about that conversation. Maybe we also discuss assets and taxes. And we're going to do a couple of insights. Maybe we want to talk about investing in a more aggressive portfolio or the opposite. Maybe they need to put some more savings in the kitty every year. Maybe they need to look at getting some life insurance and decreasing their retirement spending expectations. This is all up to you. You customize this to your preference, to your client's needs, whatever you think is appropriate for them. And you can present different what if scenarios by going to compare plans and showing them the difference in the taxes, the cash flow, 
of each plan, whether it's here is where we started and here is my recommendation. I hope this was helpful. Do reach out to support at planwithfoyant.com if you have any further questions about presenting to clients or anything else. Thank you for listening.